Our first award goes to someone whose leadership has affected countless careers, brought joy to millions of viewers around the world, and modernized and expanded an entire genre to meet the moment. Sarah Trahern, who has led the Country Music Association since 2014, started her career here in Washington, D.C. after graduating from Georgetown University. When I had the honor of joining the CMA board, I was struck by seeing firsthand how expertly she led what must be the most challenging board in music, comprised of representatives from every segment of the industry, including those that are normally at odds. She's also steered the CMAs through an unprecedented pandemic, delivering an inspiring show despite so much loss and so many challenges. It is a huge honor to present her with the 2021 Industry Legacy Award and to give a personal tribute, I am very pleased to welcome Luke Bryan. Hey everybody, it's Luke Bryan here and I'm so honored to be sending you this video tonight. I'm honored because I get to present an amazing award to a friend of mine. Um, so without further ado, I would love to present the NMPA 2021 Industry Legacy Award to my friend, Miss Sarah Trahern. Sarah and I met years ago when she was at GAC. And every time I met her, she was always creating fun new ways to get me on GAC. Even as a little bitty young artist, she was creating ways to get me in front of the TV. Those were some of the most amazing times of my career because I was learning how to eventually be able to do this business. And Sarah was certainly on the front lines of all that. She has always been such an advocate for the songwriting community, the Nashville songwriting community. And I could go on and on about her contributions to the world of songwriters. And now that she is in the role of being the CEO of the CMAs, um, all of the stuff that that entails, and even working with her from CMA Music Fest to the award show, to see her passion in that role and even to see her navigate the challenges. And trust me, there have been challenges where you've got to call Sarah and get her on the phone. And um, I think through the ever-changing world of the music business, Sarah has continued to evolve with it and uh, allow our wonderful industry to prosper and watch Nashville grow and watch the CMA grow under her leadership. And uh, I think everybody who's worked with her um, knows the spirit that she carries. She's always smiling. Even through the tough days, you'll never know she's having a tough day. She's always, uh, so, she's always so energetic about music and when I thought about the perfect song to perform for Sarah in honor of her winning this award, the first song that came to mind was certainly Most People Are Good because she's definitely a good one. I believe kids ought to stay kids as long as they can Turn off the screen, go climb a tree, get dirt on their hands I believe we gotta forgive and make amends Cause nobody gets a second chance to make new old friends I believe in working hard for what you've got it don't add up to a hell of a lot I believe most people are good and most mamas ought to qualify for sainthood I believe most Friday nights look better underneath on her stadium lights I believe you love who you love ain't nothing you should ever be ashamed of I believe this world ain't half as bad as it looks I believe most people are good I believe them streets of gold are worth the work But 
But I'd still want to go Even if they were paved with dirt I believe the youth is spent well on the young Cause wisdom in your teens would be a lot less fun I believe if you just go by the nightly news Your faith in all mankind would be the first thing you lose I believe most people are good And most mamas ought to qualify for sainthood I believe most Friday nights look better Under neon or stadium lights I believe in love who you love Ain't nothing you should ever be ashamed of I believe this world ain't half as bad as it looks I believe most people are good I believe most people are good I believe that days go slow and years go fast And every breath's a gift, the first one to the last I believe most people are good and most mamas ought to qualify for sainthood I believe most Friday nights look better under neon or stadium lights. I believe you love who you love. Ain't nothing you should ever be ashamed of. I believe this world ain't half as bad as it looks. I believe most people are good. I believe most people are good. I believe most people are good. Love you, Sarah. Thanks, Luke. I appreciate you being here today. It's been amazing to be a part of your journey from unknown songwriter to entertainer of the year, whose music is known all around the world. I agree with you that most people are good, and knowing your team and family, yours are among the best. To David Israelite, the board and staff at NMPA, thank you for this honor. I'm humbled by your recognition and will continue to work to be worthy of it. I will also continue to support the work of our songwriters and publishers as the success of country music is built on the foundation of amazing songs. I'm humbled to lead the CMA, an organization whose mission is to celebrate excellence in our genre and to support an industry where creativity can flourish. When I first came to Nashville in 1995, my first project at TNN was to oversee a Marty Party special hosted by Marty Stewart. A few of the guests were Alan Jackson, Junior Brown, and none other than Johnny Cash. I remember the thrill when Cash came up to the microphone and said, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I had to pinch myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming that this was actually my job, to promote and celebrate country music. Now, 26 years later, I remain in awe of the creative work in our community, whether it's a songwriter round with the Love Junkies, celebrating a first number one with a young writer and publisher, or something I got to do just last week, sitting down with a brand new artist and hear, hearing their newly minted music and experiencing firsthand the passion for what country music is today. Years ago, I had a similar experience when I worked at GAC with a new artist named Taylor Swift, who had been writing songs on the back of her notebooks at Hendersonville High School. And one afternoon at a promo shoot, she walked me through her vision for her first award show performance, down to the rain and the lightning. Her creative genius was so evident and exciting to me even then. Congratulations on your award today, Taylor. So trust me when I say that nobody believes deeper than me that it truly all begins with a song. To all the creatives in the audience, thank you, thank you, thank you for your vision. The rest of us are privileged to be a part of your magic. And to the rest of you, like me, in the business of supporting them, let's continue to do all we can to ensure that the rest of the world has the opportunity to share in the magic of music. Thank you. <laughs>